Hi kids, today I am reading How to Eat Fried Worms. And here we go, here's the first chapter. So relax and I hope you enjoy this story. The Bet. Hey Tom, where were you last night? Yeah, you missed it. Alan and Billy came up the front walk. Tom was sitting on his porch steps bouncing a tennis ball. Old man Tater caught Joe as we were climbing through the fence, and we all had to go back, and he made us pile the peaches on his kitchen table, and then he called our mothers. Joe's mother hasn't let him out yet. Where were you? Tom stopped bouncing the tennis ball. He was a tall, skinny boy who took his troubles very seriously. <sighs> my mother kept me in. What for? I wouldn't eat my dinner. Alan sat down on the step below Tom and began to chew his thumbnail. What was it? Salmon casserole. Billy flopped down on the grass, chunky, snub nose, freckled. Salmon casserole's not that bad. Wouldn't she let you eat two bites? asked Alan. Sometimes my mother says, well, all right, if you just eat two bites. I wouldn't even eat one. Well, that's stupid, said Billy. One bite can't hurt you. I'd eat one bite of anything before I'd let them send me to my room right after supper. Tom shrugged. Well, how about mud? Alan asked Billy. You wouldn't eat a bite of mud? Alan argued a lot. Small, knobby knee, nervous gnawing at his thumbnail. His face smudged. His red hair must, shirt tail hanging out, shoelace untied. Sure I would, Billy said. Mud? What's mud? Just dirt with a little water in it. My father says everyone eats a pound of dirt every year anyways. How about poison? That's different, Billy rolled over on his back. Is your mother going to make you eat the leftovers lunch at, today at lunch, asked Tom. She never has before. How about worms, Alan asked Billy. Tom's sister's cat squirmed out from under the porch and rubbed against Billy's knee. Sure, said Billy. Why not? Worms are just dirt. Yeah, but they bleed. So you'll have to cook them. Cows bleed. I bet a hundred dollars you wouldn't really eat a worm. You talk big now, but you wouldn't if you were sitting at the dinner table with a worm on your plate. I bet I would. I'd eat 15 worms if somebody bet me a hundred dollars. You really want to bet? I'll bet you fifty dollars you can't eat 15 worms. I really will. Where are you going to get fifty dollars? In my savings account. I've got one hundred and thirty dollars and seventy-nine cents in my savings account. I know because last week I put in five dollars my grandmother gave me for my birthday. Your mother wouldn't let you take it out. She would if I lost the bet. She'd have to. I'd tell her I was going to sell my stamp collection otherwise. And I bought that with my own money that I earned mowing lawns. So I can do whatever I want with it. I'll bet you $50 you can't eat 15 worms. Come on, you're a chicken. You know you can't do it. I wouldn't do it, said Tom. If salmon casserole makes me sick, think about what 15 worms would do. Joe came scuffing up the walk and flopped down beside Billy. He was a small boy with dark hair and a long nose and big brown eyes. What's going on? Come on, said Alan to Billy. Tom can be your second and Joel will be mine, just like in a duel. You think it's so easy. Here's a chance to make 50 bucks. Billy dangled a leaf in front of the cat, but the cat just rubbed against his knee, purring. What kind of worms? Regular worms. Not those big green ones that get on the tomatoes. I won't eat those. And I won't eat them all at once. It might make me sick. One worm a day for 15 days. And he can eat them any way he wants, said Tom. Boiled, stewed, fried, fricasseed. Yeah, but we provide the worms, said Joe. And there have to be a witness present when he eats them. Either me or Alan and somebody we can trust. 
not just you and Billy. Okay, Alan said to Billy. Billy scratched the cat's ear. Fifty dollars, that was a lot of money. How bad could a worm taste? He's eaten fried liver, salmon loaf, mushrooms, tongue, pig's feet. Other kids' parents were always nagging them to eat, eat. His had begun to worry about how much he ate. Not that he was fat, he just hadn't worked off all his winter blubber yet. He slid his hands into his shirt and furtively squeezed the side of his stomach. Worms were just dirt. Dirt wasn't fattening. If he won $50, he could buy that mini bike. George Cunningham's brother had promised to sell him in September before he went away to college. Heck, he could gag anything down for $50, couldn't he? He looked up. I can use ketchup or mustard or anything like that as much as I want. Ellen nodded. Okay. Billy stood up. Okay. And so I'm going to stop at that chapter and I resume, will resume on the next chapter called Digging tomorrow night. So stay tuned.